Hey friends, so I just went grocery shopping. It's Sunday night, I got all my stuff for the week, and I finally found some good meat deals in College Station. It has been a rough five months here so far, like deal seeking wise, occasionally I'll find good meat deals, but chicken especially has been extremely vexing to find. But I finally tracked down a meat deal this week, $1.49 a pound for chicken. Not ideal, but that's about 25% off from the normal price, and at this point I'll take it because I hate spending $2 a pound for chicken. So grand total, I spent $60 at H-E-B and Aldi, and I'm gonna show you what I got. Alrighty, so let's start over here with H-E-B. I got some microwave popcorn for about $2.50. That is for work. I also got some orange chocolate because well, I'm on my period. All right, this was a good deal too. I've been using the Flip app, if you guys haven't heard of this yet, and it is really neat. I'm gonna show you how it works real quick. So let's go Flip. All right, and what you can do is tell it what your address and what stores are in your area, and then it shows all of the circulars in one place. And you can scroll through the thing and then if you want something you can say add that to your shopping list which is down here and then it's real easy to go in and just be looking for stuff so it does it across multiple stores so you can see I've got Aldi and HEB here and then I just cross-reference that with the list I keep on my phone during the week of things that I need and I'm all set to go so in that App, I found that these deodorants, which this is the kind I use, just the men's gel deodorant, were a dollar each, or 97 cents each actually, and they're normally two dollars each, so I grabbed a couple of those. I probably should have gotten more, because those never go on sale. I also got some Howerades, those are for the boyfriend, um, just to keep here at my place for him. Here is the great meat deal for dollar 47 each, and there was a limit of two, so I got two big bags of it. This is over 10 pounds of boneless skinless chicken breasts. They also had 99 cent each per pound ground turkey. So some of this is going to be frozen as well. And as soon as I get off filming here, I'm going to go ahead and cut these and process them and put them in bags for the freezer. All right, moving on to Aldi because I spent $30 at HEB. At Aldi, I found they have this really cool wine line called Winking Owl. I hadn't noticed it before, but it's $2.85 for wine, which is crazy. And Moscato is my favorite, so I decided to pick up a couple and um, boyfriend and sister wanted the White Zen, so I'm gonna try those. And for less than $3 each, it could be really good. Oh, here's the rest I got. I got some tampons and some bananas also at HEB. So, and these were on sale for like $2.50, so. I do, by the way, still use a menstrual cup, but I like having these on hand in a couple of places just in case I get a surprise, you know what I mean? All right, at H-E-B, at Aldi, they also had this fresh, sweet Italian turkey sausage for half price, so these were $1.67 each. I'm gonna freeze these. Grapes were 79 cents a pound, which is awesome. I also got some tomato soup for 47 cents a can, some crescent rolls, some milk for $2.10, awesome. And then this stuff over here, I actually, I'm hosting a breakfast next Sunday after church. So I got some cinnamon rolls, bacon, and eggs. I also got this to eat and some dog food and some mixed vegetables. So this is what I got for $60. I think I did pretty well and I'm really happy to have chicken again because it's been rough paying full price for chicken. I don't like it. All right, there we go. Okay, so I have processed all the chicken. What I like to do with the chicken is cut the extraneous fat off and then slice each breast horizontally to make a thinner chicken breast. It cooks a little bit faster, a little bit more evenly, and I just, it also it's, creates kind of a wide, thin, filet that just looks like a lot of food and it's just the perfect amount. I've cut some into strips and some into chunks and I pulled out of my fridge here some marinades and stuff that I would like to kind of start to use up a little bit. So I've marked these bags. I'm gonna put marinades, chicken in them, 
freeze them up. And as you can see, all of these are things I've used before. I'm just using up what I have and what I like. So I'm gonna just whip that together real fast and I will have a ton of meals just ready to pull out of the freezer, defrost overnight, and then cook up, add some veggies to, and I will be set so pretty. I love it, love it. And we're done. So I've got three packets here of just plain chicken, breast, and strips. Um, the chunk chicken, I did honey sriracha because I'll probably do kind of like a stir fry with that. And I have two Italian chicken breasts here. And in all of these, I have at least two up to four small chicken breasts. So this will be, it like in here it looks like they're about two. So that'll be a dinner plus leftovers or two dinners to be served together. Two Caribbean jerks and two urban garlic. Now with the Italian chicken, I like to make quesadillas out of this. So I'll probably take it out. Um, cook it up and then slice it and then make quesadillas with it or I could do it just with vegetables same with all of these so I'm going to put them all into this and then I've cleared out a place for them to sit in there and my freezer starting to fill up and I'll stick that on top so that's my meal prep for tonight so these will freeze flat and then I'll be able to stack them up and they'll take less space check in on the meal prep. I have tomato soup in each of these for a couple days. I prepped and washed my grapes. I still actually have some mixed fruit left from last week. I've got a salad here, some cantaloupe here. Um, tomorrow night I'll probably do some of these sausages um, and then the next night I might do ground turkey and then we'll play le the leftover game. So I still have some cheese back there and some fruit and Everything has been sanitized and wiped down and I have some fruit right there ready and some fruit over there ready. So ready for the week.